Sri Lanka's Supreme Court has summoned former President Gotabaya Rajapaksa to appear next Monday. He's expected to make submissions regarding an investigation against those responsible for the country's bankruptcy. A Sri Lankan cabinet spokesperson has said the ex-leader is expected to return to the country, insisting he is not in hiding. And meanwhile, the court has extended a travel ban on two of Mr Rajapaksa's brothers, a former Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa and former Finance Minister. Minister Basil Rajapaksa. Uh, report, uh, protesters rather have blamed the Rajapaksa government for Sri Lanka's economic crisis. Uh, Mr Rajapaksa is currently in Singapore and has extended his short-term visit pass by another 14 days. CNA understands that this will allow him to stay in the city until August the 11th. The former leader fled a wave of anti-government protests in Sri Lanka. He first landed in the Maldives before arriving in Singapore on a private visit two weeks ago. He resigned as president shortly after his arrival, and this was formally accepted by the Sri Lankan cabinet on July the 15th. Rebecca Bundan joins us uh, from Colombo uh, with more on this uh, developing story. Uh, Rebecca, what are Sri Lankans making of Mr. Rajapaksa's extended stay in Singapore? Well, there's a lot of confusion around this because we heard from the cabinet spokesperson in Sri Lanka just yesterday who was saying that Mr. Pak Rajapaksa was not in hiding and that he would return to the country. Now, that's really what a lot of the protesters want because they want him to face the music. They say he has to be held accountable for this deep economic mess that the country is in with people facing these fuel shortages, challenges with flu food, challenges with inflation. They do want him to actually come back and face the, face the music. But now this information has come through that his stay has been extended in Singapore. People now asking, will he return? If he will return and when will he return? Now there's also been this notice that's come through from the Supreme Court that suggests that maybe he will have to come back. But the other question now as well is, what happens when he does come back, if he does come back? Because the new president that is in the new president that is in power, Mr. Ranil Wickrema Singer, he's actually considered to be an ally of Mr. Rajapaksa and the prime minister as well. He's also a Rajapaksa loyalist. So what actually happens when he comes back? That's another question. But certainly there's a lot of public anger towards Mr. Rajapaksa here and they want him to they want to see him return to the country. Rebecca Bundin in Colombo. Thank you.